Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn This Day with Mahesh. So, first of all, we know what is the importance of today. It's an historic event for Indians and an auspicious day. So, where we have this Rama Mandir uh, being inaugurated by our Honorable Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi ji. So, the context today which I wanted to share is, uh, you would have seen lots of stuff in uh, WhatsApp details. So, there are good 3D images that have been generated. So, I guess most of them are generated using Gen AI. So I just wanted to connect uh, Jay Shri Ram and Generative AI and see how we can generate the stuff. So what kind of prompts will be helping you to generate something uh, image? The one which you are seeing on the screen currently, both of them are generated using Bing Image Creator, and we are going to describe that. I'll also show you the Do It AI Do It AI capability in Google Workspace. And I'm really super excited to share my 400th video uh, on this auspicious day. And another coincidence is the number of slides which I have created is also 400. Just a fun fact. So with that as a background, let's jump into a demonstration where we'll try to generate these 3D images of Lord Sri Ram and see how it's going to be generated. Okay, let's get into it. All right, I'm using my Edge browser. So Bing Edge goes hand in hand. So you can also definitely use Chrome. So it's your choice. So the query which I have used is, so the prompt which I used is, create a 3D illustration of Lord Sri Ram as a fire kid, Indian happy uh, kid basically, uh, wearing saffron color dhoti with hair tied, holding bow, walking in a palace. So this is a prompt. So maybe for your quick reference, I can put this prompt in the description so that you can copy paste and try it. So, and the, the reason is why I did not generate a new one is every time uh, when you put this prompt, you may not get the same thing, right? The only reason is these Gen AI is going to be creative. So usually in, at least in uh, Vertex AI Studio, you get an option called as temperature. So if you set the temperature as zero, it is going to generate the same thing. The creativity is going to be literally zero. So when you make it as more, it's going to be more creative. So every time with the same prompt itself, you may get a different image. So this is one thing which I wanted to show. So moving on to the next one, the prompt which I used is, now I have not used that five year old kid kind of a stuff. So I have used a 3D uh, illustration of Lord Sri Ram wearing saffron dhoti, uh, holding a golden co color uh, bow in the left hand. And you can see it, it's in the left hand, which is awesome. So which is almost the same kind of a uh, depiction which I have tried to do, uh, which has been now made available in the Ram Mandir. So awesome. And look at the quality of the video. And uh, if you observe certain stuffs, right, most of the time when you use uh, AI to generate it, uh, it sometimes is going to fail. So primarily when you look at the hands. So here, if you see, uh, all the five fingers are showing. Here, four fingers. The thumb is maybe behind the arrow. That's the reason it is not shown. Look at the leg, the fingers, which is all awesome. So nose is perfect. Eyes is perfect. So here it has come up very well is what I would say. So this is how you can generate 3D images uh, using Bing. Uh, image creator. This is something possible. Now let's look into how we can describe the stuff. So because this is something on Google Cloud, right? How can I just uh, show you something which is uh, Bing stuff or something from Microsoft? So let me just quickly show you where Gemini Pro is going to come into picture, where Do It AI is going to come into picture. So all right, we are in our Google Cloud console. So I am specifically in. Uh, the multi-model Gemini Pro Vision interface where the same image which we saw in our, uh, which was generated by our Bing. So this is a nice connect. The image is generated by Bing and I have uploaded the same image. Now what I'm saying is describe this image in a detailed manner. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and when I generate it, the reason is I, I have already generated it. So I have collapsed the response. Now you can see the response. Now the beauty is by looking at this, it is able to say it's an image of an young boy, all the stuffs. 
So the most important stuff which it is going to highlight is uh, likely standing in a palace or a temple. That's good. And the most cool part which I felt was the image is likely depicting Hindu god Rama, uh, which is awesome, right? Uh, who's all, uh, who is often depicted as a child with a bow and arrow. Beautiful, right? So we are not done anything, but uh, Gemini Pro is trying to do awesome here. And I was mentioning about the temperature, right? This is the one. So if I keep it as the highest, it's going to be more creative. So if I make the temperature as zero, it is always going to be giving you a very specific stuff. So let me just go ahead and try with another image which I had already generated. So this is also Rama. So let's go ahead and try to do it with temperature zero and generate it. So when we do it, it is going to give you a stuff. So a description about it. I have tried to also put it, give it in a more detailed manner. So this is what it shows. Something very similar, but we don't, okay. Um, the walls are made, blah, 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 good. The boy is holding bow and arrow, but nowhere uh, mention of Rama is there. Now it is ending with face. It starts with the image. Now, since the temperature is zero, if you try to submit it again, it is going to be the same thing. It's not going to change the description or the response. So the same stuff, ending with face, starting with the image. But if you make the temperature like maybe 0.5 and generate it, it's going to be more creative in very simple terms, right? So let's not get into the, uh, the actual parameters which is going to help you to do it. So that's what it shows. Now it shows a little one which is often associated with Lord Krishna. So it's all different incarnations which we know. So it shows you that. Now if you again generate it, it could be another new response. So that's how you can play around with the temperature uh, is what I would say. Good. It's now uh, totally a new one. Now going to the next one, the one which is uh, we had generated using Bing. I have uploaded the same thing and response. As I mentioned, I have already generated it. If I expand the response, it directly bang on. It shows it starts with this shows uh, Hindu God, Lord uh, Rama. So standing with a knee position, all those things. And uh, the most important part, which I liked here is uh, he is surrounded by a golden aura. So which is really awesome. So the quality is good. And the description is also awesome. The way uh, generative AI specifically in Google uh, Gemini Pro described it was purely awesome is what I would say, which is good. Now, this is not the end. So I would like to show you Google Workspace, do it AI option, uh, how it is going to work. All right, I'm in uh, Google Slides. So this is an image which was generated by do it AI. Now just keep in mind, do it AI behind the scene is also going to use Gemini Pro. So this is like an end user interface where you don't need access to Google Cloud account, no need of those things. If you have the right uh, access, if this has been enabled in your organization's Google Workspace, you should be able to do it. So which is really a nice image. And if I look into this, uh, a small, uh, this thing which I have added, like this is the prompt which I gave. 3D image of Lord Sri Ram and Hanuman showing their friendship. So nicely shown, right? Let's try to do it live. And this is the place where you can click create an image. So let's do this and see the stuff. Now, if you uh, if you want a change, you can again re-prompt it. That's it. It's going to give you. It's not giving. Let's just give a small stuff. Lord Sri Ram. Maybe with photography and try to do it. So I'm showing you a live stuff. So I have not uh, paused it here. Let's wait for the response. So this is another way you should be able to generate it. So it's not coming up. Let me just give a little try one more time. Friendship. Uh, uh, yeah, should be good. Let me 3D. I'm just trying to change the uh, prompt and see what is going to happen. I had to pause it. Uh, it was not working. So uh, after a couple of tries, it worked. So the, this is the uh, query which I have tried and this is what I get as a response. So which is awesome. So again, if you want, you can try it. So at least I wanted to show you one thing which is live. So 
I would say it's a pretty good image. So I guess sometimes whenever I show this, it's going off. So it's fine. So uh, I just wanted to show you that even with do it AI, you will be able to do it specifically uh, as a part of this uh, this thing. So I'm not sure why it is not showing up whenever I change it. So background green uh, with a background. So let's give a try if it works. I just wanted to show you once. Otherwise, we'll move on with the next stuff, which so it's not showing for me image. I just changed that prompt. That was the only thing which I did it. Um, so I'm using a kind of a trial account here. So maybe that could be the reason uh, for not showing it. And I have also observed. Uh, OK, good. I at least was able to show you something. OK, let me just uh, create a new one. So let me just show this. This looks like a beautiful one. Yes. Awesome. Right. So this is awesome. And this is not the end. Let me show you one interesting stuff. All right, I have opened my visual code. I have already connected to my do it AI. So now what I'm going to do is we have a practice of writing a uh, Jay Sri Ram uh, or Sri Ram something like 101 times or something like 501 times kind of a stuff, right? If I were to do that with the help of a code, I know it is going to be good if you write it. But if I wanted to use the generative AI and show you the stuffs, right? So this is what I can type it as a prompt, folks. So print J Sri Ram 101 times with space in uh, with space and I want everything in one line. And this is going to be Python because I have uh, a file which is opened as py file. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use do it AI. So I'm going to generate the code. And if I do this, this is a simple two liner code in Python, not rocket science. But the whole part which I wanted to show you is how you can have it in your visual code. You don't need to switch to bar. You don't need to switch to chat GPT. You don't need to basically switch to generative AI options. You can get it integrated with your visual code. So and in the context of uh, Jay Sri Ram, so if I would use it, I will get it. And it's not this. I basically can go ahead and run this also, and I should be able to see it. Awesome. So Jay Sri Ram. So that's a video which I wanted to share. Do let me know your comments and feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you.